<laughs> Problem with the small studio. And three people. I'm <laughs> Phil. I'm Pooja. I'm Deepa. Who's that? I'm Deepa's sister visiting her from Singapore. And here we are in San Francisco. And she brought lots of whiskey. If you probably uh, might have seen the vlog, bags of whiskey. Oh, I get more. Oh, there's one more. Wow, well done, Deepa. <laughs> I'm going to look for myself. There might be something else in here. These all came from a trade show in Singapore called... TFWA, the tax-free show or the duty-free show. It's like a big conference of tax-free, duty-free, yeah. travel retail, in other words. So basically, that's free whiskey and we need to taste them. What have we got? We've got three from Tomatoon, eight year, 12 year, 15 year. I thought the 15 was a small bottle until I realized these two were the big bottles. And so this was from... Scott Adamson and from Graham Nicholson. Folks, folks, this is the best thing about my job in the whiskey industry. I met Pooja here about, what, three weeks ago? Yeah. In Singapore. Oh, wow. And I found out that her sister and her brother-in-law have a YouTube whiskey channel. And as she was typing into YouTube the name of the channel, I was like, I know those guys. We have a Cavalan. The Kavalan Classic. From Derek Chiang from Taiwan. Isla Journey is coming from Hunter Lang. And Andrew Lang gave it to me. And Andrew, I know that, I know from uh, Roy's video the Ardnaho Distillery is producing this as a warm-up blend bottle as they make their new uh, spirit. Okay, the Lost Distillery, Dalaruan. This came from James Maxwell, whose card is quite weighty. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting project. They basically look at distilleries that no longer exist and try to work out what the flavor profile was and then recreate it using a blend of available whiskies, obviously. And this one is, um, Bellarun is a Campbelltown, I believe. So this is going to be interesting. Glen Glasser and the Woodford Reserve Rye came from... Brown Foreman. Fionn Fitzgerald. <laughs> well done. <laughs> uh, this is the Glen Glasser Evolution. And I don't know anything about that. Don't know much about rye either. Um, I think I know about Val Blair, but we've never actually tried it, even though we have it in our other blind taste. But this is the new 12 year old. And this came from Kavir Advani, who's the country advisor in India for international is... beverage. Okay, so they're the distributors, and the same for Old Pulteney mm -hmm. 12, which was a favorite of ours from the first one. And then we have Isla Mist, from, another blend. From Andrew Torrance of Macduff. I guess I should say that the Dalaroon is a blended malt, no grain. I don't know about Isla Mist. And then we have Glen Murray at the end. So that's our lineup. We're going to try and split it into below $50 bottles and put them in our order of preference and then come back and do the above $50 and do them blind and have a little bit of a blind shootout just for fun. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll talk about the giveaway at the end so only people who watch to the end of the video know about it. <laughs> That's a brilliant idea. <laughs> okay, round one. This is the below 50, what did I say? Yeah, below 50. Tomatin 8, Isla Journey, Woodford Rye, Woodford Reserve Rye, Old Pulteney 12, Isla Mist, and Glen Moray. Um, I'm gonna remove the bottles, and then we'll mix up the glasses, and then we'll do some kind of blind test. Mm -hmm. Taste, I've got uh, labels on the bottom of the glasses. I think, what should we do? Should we just pick two? and do a quick, we're gonna do this time lapse. Well, that was fun. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> But it was pretty stressful as well. It was like a speed round of tasting where you just have one sip and try and compare. And they do start to merge a bit, don't they? Which one stood out though? I know what stood out. 
I don't know what was it. Oh yeah, the, the <laughs> color, the color of the Woodford Reserve. The Woodford Reserve. It's so different. Basically, we had two smoky, three non-smoky. You know, sort of lighter, and then the uh, and then the right. Yeah. Well, we get different. So uh, let's see. We'll go in reverse order of the joint the joint order and then we'll go individual after so so in reverse order we actually ended up with Isla Mist it, uh, it, uh, was the lowest scoring uh, but if you had to give it a number you know let's just go through them this is only a $33 bottle on our scale, we'd only have to give this an 83 for it to justify its price. It's simple, it's just a light, little bit of smoke. Nothing, nothing to it's offend. It's easy to drink. So I... Yeah. Nah, it's soft, Santa. Now overall, it was at the lower. Now you, Pooja, actually had that one in third place. Oh, okay. And I had it up a notch. Okay, next one up was actually Tamartin 8. And let's see, Tamartin again, well actually it was a bit more expensive. Uh, this is probably around 46. Now I'm giving prices based on US standard bottle. Uh, so this should have scored a, an 86 for us. Mm. The nose is actually pretty nice. And again, Pooja, your alliance to Scott is intact because you put this one in second place. You actually had it up here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I think it the is, nose... It is... Uh, God, for the straw. It's pretty good. I like the nose on mm. it more than the taste on the Tomatin 8. It smells very nice. There's quite kind of rich honey notes going on there. Oh yeah, this is sherry, isn't it? It has a little bit of sherry. Bourbon and sherry casks. Nice. Okay. Next up, with a unanimous decision, <laughs> we, all, we all had it yeah. in the same place, is all Pumpney 12. Oh. <laughs> and again, actually I don't have a label for this, but All Pumpney probably needs to be scoring about at 84, 85, because it's only 36, 36, around the $40 mm -hmm. mark here in the US. Mm, All Pumpney. I'm starting to like it more now. Yes, this is a 40% version. In the US, we get a 43% version. So it does taste a bit lighter. It's pretty buttery. Yeah, the 40 ABV. But it's nice. a very nice single malt mm. as well. Now this was a bit uh, divisive, the Woodford Reserve, <laughs> because you ended up saying, no, you can't handle it, and you, you moved it down. <laughs> but me and Deepo actually both had it up in third place. In fact, this whole order is, is your order, as it turned out. The Woodford Reserve, the rye, is obviously quite different to everything else with all those woody cinnamon rye notes that you get. But the flavour is definitely a shock if you're coming off some of the lighter mm -hmm. Scotch mm -hmm. whiskey. I'm just not used to it. Yeah. It's different for me, new. Yeah. But it's certainly bold and powerful, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm. Mm. And again, in the US, the standard size of this bottle is 750 and it's it's only in the $30 range, which is an incredible value. I I moved it for if acting out is for the bitter earth forever. Well that's the rye. Ah, <laughs> so that leaves us with Isla Journey, and surprisingly, Glen Murray. And you actually marked this one lower 
but me and Deepa both put this one Ooh, in second place. I'm shock! <laughs> <laughs> it was also Mummy's favourite because it's got Mummy written on it. Wow, I did like it earlier, but not. I like it. It's, it's very light with a little bit of spice. Now I've got to go back to Old Pulteney. And you got what back in Mmm. Yeah, Old Pulteney is a little flatter, I would say. And tomato. So, uh, the East has more spark than that. Which one's this? It's clamorous. This is like a vodka potato. Slightly flatter, but the pepper is quite nice on the end. Mm. I, I, I have a dish of that. I'm not yet very convinced. But to be fair, the, the, um, these three are quite similar flavour profiles. Mm -hmm. But again, unanimous though, we were unanimous that the Isla Journey. And, well, it is also the most expensive. Mm, and almost. it's sort of up at the 50 50 dollar range so this really should be scoring a little higher i think the glen murray at only 33 is probably winning price wise um woodford reserve as well but the isla journey is a very nice bit of peat so is this a unanimous winner and i don't even know if it's a blended malt or a blended uh, whiskey. Let me see. Isla blended, oh, blended malt. <laughs> it says there right on the label. Mm. Isla Journey. So this is the Ardenaho um, Hunter Lang blend. It's, it's, it's part of it. Yeah. It's very I have. I think what we're going to do is we're going to take this one into the mm. upper level category because mm. the price was right on the border. Ready for round two? <laughs> Ready. <laughs> so we've brought up Isla Journey into round two because it's actually about the same price as some of them in here. And uh, actually they're ordered roughly in, in cost. Although I have to say the Glen Glasser is 50% ABV. No, sorry, the Glen Glasser is 50% ABV. So uh, it could actually be down at the lower end of the scale price wise. Seven whiskies will do the same thing. The results are in. We were quite different on this one. We all had our own preferences. We all had three different tops three different seconds. In fact, let's see, is there anything that lined up? Not really, <laughs> all pretty different, which just goes to show that it's, um, you know, different different tastes, but- That's good for the market. It is quite interesting though, that the group effect, the combined effect is pretty close to price, oh. to price order. So this time, Let's see. Tomatin 12 was at the lower end. And, but you actually quite liked Tomatin 12. What did I score on that? You were up in like third place. Okay. For Tomatin 12. Where did I have Tomatin 12? Oh yeah, I, I was down there. And then the next one, is Dalroon, the Lost Distillery. But mm -hmm. I like that one more. I had it up in the middle level. I had it up here somewhere. Uh, both of us. Just a little bit lower. I'm gonna have another taste of that in a minute. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I had Glen Glasser here. <laughs> what? Navigation. Glen Glasser, evolution. Is that for the evolution? Is that for the no. But the group result was actually there. 
So I had that in first place, but you had that one in last place. So just to... <laughs> I thought we are my thoughts. No. This is the group result. This is the group combined result. Let's see, where did Deepa have that? You actually had that one pretty low as well, and I had it right at the top. It was his first preference. Okay. Now, our, our earlier round winner, Isla Journey. Is doing pretty good. Did really good. The, the mid. Yeah. yeah. Now, I had it... Actually, we had it in the same place. Okay. And... Deepa, being a bit of a peat head, Deepa had it way up here, <laughs> and so that's why that's why it got it got pulled up because uh -huh. that was uh, Deepa's favorite, not favorite, almost favorite, second place. Where are we now? Bal Blair, up next. This is the Bal Blair twelve. Now uh, we were all pretty close on this one. This was probably the most. Uh, we were just here or here between us. Unanimous. What is left? Tomatin 15. Ooh. And it is the second most expensive. But you two both really liked it. Oh. <laughs> In fact, this one is your favorite. Oh. And what did I give it? You were second place. Second place. Oh, I knew. But I knew. I was actually very unsure about this one. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, it's smoky. And in first place, <laughs> and, oh. and the most expensive was Cavalan. Now, you were first place. I had it second place. Deepa had it third place. Oh. So in total, it pushed it all up. So was there anything else of It was interest? the first time I'd ever had a Kavalan. And if we look at the prices based mm. on ABV, because the ABVs are different, and we look at the scores, Kavalan should have been scoring up in the 89s, 88, 86, 87, 85, 86, 85, 86, Actually, this one should have been scoring a little higher, 86 plus, and this one also about 86. So they've actually performed more or less exactly how they should have done based wow. on the price as, as a group. But uh, anything else to report? I'm going to talk about duck the this. Yeah. <laughs> Mmm, Kavalan. What did you think, Pooja? I think we've Oh, you know what? Done yes, the, the tomato in 15. I was picking up a little bit of more sort of nail varnishy type of notes on it, which isn't necessarily bad. It's just the way I'm trying to describe it. I felt like I was picking up like a sophistication from the Kavalan. That's because you're sophisticated. Unlike us. Mm -hmm. The Isle of Journey is just such a winner because of the peat. But I really like the Glen Glasser. Mm, I really like the Kavalan. Glen Glasser, I've got all kinds of vanilla stuff going on. Mm. A little bit of pepper. But I also like the Lossy. The Lossy? <laughs> no, not Glen Lossy. The Lost Distillery. <laughs> And it has a little bit of peat going on as well. Mm. I would have thought you would like that one more. This is why. Well, just taste it because it has the extra, because it has a bit of peat going on. Let me try the Glen Glasser, which was your favorite. It's the Lost Distillery. It's the Campbelltown. Um, Campbelltown, what would you call it? Recreation of Dalaruan. Mm -hmm. Let me smell it. I it. Oh, no, I just want to smell. That of course, we don't know what distilleries have really gone in. And let me give Tomatin. Oh, I think Deepa's been here. Let's have the Tomatin 12 again. <laughs> That's really peaty, the Isla Joe. The Isla... The Lost mm. Distillery, oh. 
No, not for me. Which one? The Glen Glassy, you don't like it? It's not for me. And it's too bitter for me. Too bitter? Mm, now I'm picking up a bit of nice matchsticks in the tomato twelve. Mmm. Okay. I think that's enough fun for one night. <laughs> but if you've made it this far in the video, we're going to do a bit of a giveaway. Hooray! How do we do it? And what are we giving away? Um, Whiskey? Two things. If you're in the Bay Area and want to literally come and drink some here, put in the comments, Bay Area. <laughs> if you just want us to send some, not that that's allowed. If you want to come and have some picked up in person, uh, let's say, I want some in the comments, but I think we have to limit it to USA. I don't know what the, what the delivery problems may or may not be. Anyway, if you want to try and get some, just say, I want some in the comments and we'll work out how to do it. Or Bay Area, I want some. <laughs> you can do both. Or Singapore, I could carry some back. If you're in okay. Singapore, <laughs> if you're in Singapore, we could send some. <laughs> Maybe I need to give this one another go. Yeah, I need to mm. see the Isle of Journey, revisit the Isle of Journey. Mmm, that's really... They are really different. Pretty different. Cavalan mm. is quite interesting, isn't it? Very different. Ah, you know, I think when the Cavalan's poured mm. fresh, mm -hmm. I didn't like it as much, but... Mmm. Okay. Very good. Thanks, everyone, for the whiskey. We will distribute evenly. <laughs> Had enough? Yes. Time for crisps and a movie. Mm. <laughs> oh, cheese and crackers. 